Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Hello, everyone. My name is Eliote, and welcome back to Bug Fables. Last time, we were invaded by the Wasp King again. And this time, we started Chapter 6, but of course, we will start with Quest again. So if we head on to the Quest board, there's a small selection of quests I want to choose. Mmm... Helpers need out once for code 32 that mess up the factory badly. The menders are out of control. I don't have time to, fi to go fixing all of them. Can someone come and whack them for me? I will make sure it'll be worth your time. So it seems like we have to go back to the hive. I'll take that one. Thank you. And reliving memories that the mayor wants to go play whack a worm. So we have to go bring him all the way to the gold settlement. Okay with me because the tunnels are just connected that way. My mecha claw. I think we saw something like this. I believe we already have it. Yep, mechanical claw, but what does he need it for? Blast those hecking wasps. They've stole my prototype mecha claw. I use it for, for everything? How am I supposed to work now? Can't you do it by hand? Say the clients, of course not. Can someone drop by my workshop in Defiant Root? Well, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have to go there again, or in general, so. And Butler missing again. My butler went missing once again. Meet me in the wild swamplands entrance and help me find him. He must be terrified and every second he's in great danger. Please help me. I guess we'll have to check out the wild swamplands in a bit. So what I want to do first is actually, I should have double checked. I want to go to the bee kingdom. Bee kingdom. The, yes, I want to go back to the hive, the factory, to help Malby because of code 32. So, I'll see you on in a bit. Or, maybe I can... I believe we're supposed to get something soon. Just to make things easier for us. Yes, I was right on that. Boy, Team Snakemouth, during the attack, a piece of main crystal fell off. We turned it into a pretty nifty tool for you. Would you mind testing it? You got an ant compass. This compass always points towards the ant kingdom. Use it to quickly find your way back. This compass always points to the big crystal. Use it whenever you want to travel back here. There's quite a few tunnels leading back here already. The compass will take you to them. And so, this is now a much more efficient fast travel hub. Since now we got the ant compass and we can use it anytime, except for in here because this is where it brings us. And now we have this suspicious looking ant that we can talk to just bring us where we want to. And I'm I'm sure of course he'll bring us to more than just the ant plaza and the snake mouth den. But for now, let's just quickly dash our way through to the hive. And now into the factory we go above this giant tree where we would fall and die to our deaths. Yes, that's what dying means, but I believe Malby would probably be in the office of the superintendent. What is this place called? We found the overseer, so can we leave? Don't like the office much? Yeah, seriously bums me out. Well, overseer, not the whatever I called them. Oh V, you've come back. This might pay well, so... The raw thing, things are having issues, yeah? Indeed. The Code 32 incident caused plenty of trouble, and I had to fix all of them. The menders are durable and reliable, but some of them went haywire despite my efforts. I don't have time to look for all of them, so I need you to go in my seat. We're not qualified engineers, so how do we fix the menders? Easy! Just whack them until their system resets. B what? H hit them? What are their- what about their feelings? Kaboo. Machines don't have feelings. And if they do? They don't indeed. Just go and reset them, no matter how many wax it takes. There should be three around the processing areas of the factory. You better have a reward ready. Let's move, team. Hmm, the processing area. And Kaboo has feelings even for the machines. The cold, heartless, unfeeling, cold machines. And are you one broken one? Beep beep, trans system status, online destination, pump room, or tram, no thank you. So it seems like that one is fine. And it's good to see all the enemies again. Well, mainly the dead Mookies, because I just think they're cool. But I learned recently that Snom is, well, Pokemon, I will talk about. Pokemon like Snom, because it's bug related. Snom is actually based upon, I believe, what is called the Jewel Caterpillar, where it's a giant crystal surrounding it, which I think 
well if I could get past what um, as I was saying some is based off of the jewel caterpillar which looks like ice which is why some has that Ooh, hang on kaboo why Snom has that snow or ice like structure surrounding it because it's clear it's see-through just a cute little bug fact I found out well more so gaming bug fact that I found out but to save me some trouble here I'm gonna see if I can not use the menu correctly all right and Oh, I forgot I have these two badges. Antillion Jaws. I could keep that. Just to make us stronger. I haven't used Status Relay yet, but... Bug Me Not is much more important because I just don't have to deal with any of these enemies. And the thing is... Although you save so much time, you don't get any berries or any items from this. So it does show sometimes it is worth the effort to fight them. But XP-wise, if you are able to just walk past them with the bug me not badge they are just gonna be able to well just gonna be able english they're only gonna give you one hp that's all pp pump state say this online honey path to, to am i in the wrong area am i but the the processing it, is this wrong there we go there's one of them critical error critical error and here we are, a new enemy. Well, not really enemy because I don't think they'll fight back. It's a mender. Surprising to see that we can actually fight these cute little robots. These are way too cute. We should ask for one later. Maybe a plushie even? Shame there's not much to do other than beat them up. Plushie? Well, if we're talking about plushies, there was actually a small period of time where they would actually produce plushies of Team Sigma. Missing directive and purpose stating quote, what am I supposed to do? Kaboo must be feeling horrible, but yeah, real life plushies of Team Snake Mouth. I wish I knew about this game way back then. I would have definitely spent my money to get the plushies of these guys. Why wouldn't you? I mean, for how long we've been spending time with this team, it is so worth our time. Well, so worth for me, at least. Because they'd be adorable in plush form. Mender reset complete. And even in the game, we have a plushy version of one of them. I mean, we could be just like Team Snake, Snake Mouth if we had only the Kaboo plush. <sighs> if only they would bring it back. They're part of the program. I don't know if that's the right way to call it. The program of Makeshift? I believe that's what it's called. I have one of their plushies here. Yeah. It's makeshift. It's, oh, well, I have one of their plushies because I've been playing a game that they made a plush for called Peglin. But they make limited edition stuff like plushies mainly. And I think figurines, kind of like how YouTube's has limited times or limited items or literally limited edition where I actually ordered a Bug Fables vinyl off there. I don't regret a single thing, but I do have to start saving money a lot more now. But, yeah, real-life marketable plush. I suggest to the developers, if they ever get the chance to see this, please, please, make plushies again. I beg of you. And not, not in, like, an aggressive, weird way, but I would just like them, you know? To have them back with me, you know? And who, who cares if you don't expect that high of a sale? The, the sale means nothing to me. And it means a lot to my inner inner childhood gamer that absolutely loves a series that reminds me of my childhood games. I would I would appreciate that. And with that, our final member member mender. But I do want to see what Kaboo has to say. One, two, three. This poor creature. It wails of distress reach reach me to the core. Maybe I should re rely. Relay to V and Leaf to deal with this. Oh, he doesn't want to hurt the little robot buddy. I thought the menders had more to say, but I guess not. Missing directive and purpose? Nope, same thing. 
So the reset is just to fix them, but even though we didn't see any of you guys. So I guess you just traveled once the B33 heavy drone left. I didn't even try, but I guess it didn't matter. And we got all three menders. So let's hurry back on to Mal B. That is all of them. A bit disappointingly easy. Easy money is still money. Let's go get that reward. Poor things. Poor things indeed, Kabu. If only they were able to properly function. But let's see if I can drop down, and I can't. I guess I'll have to be a bit patient, but it did give me some time to talk more about the game, bugs, and other things, which is what I really like doing. Like, having fun talking. Because I am a very talkative person, but I feel like I can't always be talking about one specific topic unless, like, I'm super heavily into it. Or maybe, like, I just get, like going on rambles. Because, like, I took notes, and I barely use those notes. Like, I have the enemies and what their moves are, their weaknesses, health, defense, and I don't even look at them. I don't strategize with them. I, I do go with brute force, and so far it's been working all right. Except for the times where I get my ass kicked like three times by the bosses, but it doesn't matter. You fixed them, haven't you? My radar's confirmed it. It was emotionally draining. The vendors weren't made to fight, only to do simple tasks. Thank you. HP's inventions have been going way out of control recently. Well, I must congratulate you, V. I really want you to come back to work for us. In your dreams. Explore is right where I belong. Regardless of my bias, it's good to see you found your calling. You've earned this. Thanks for helping us again. The power change metal. We don't have to spend crystal berries on this. Boost and Italia's attack by one, but also reduces their defense by one. We can make sort of a glass cannon with this if we wanted to. Whoa, this one's really rare. It'd really be nice to have you back with us, V. But I know you'd hate it. Good luck on your adventures. Uh -huh. Thanks, Chief. Well, we're out. Stay safe. And that's one quest completed. And time to show you if it works here if we use the ant compass. Ant mines? I guess we can use it here. Even though we're in a factory inside a tree, so we're burrowing through wood, which I don't know if it's the greatest place to do so, but I think now I want to go look for a butler. Because there is another thing I want to check out before we start looking for him. Or, yes, the butler him. And it's this little fellow that we saw earlier when we were on our way to the Wild Swamplands as well. So, once I get there, I'll see y'all in just a bit. Well, once I get there, I'll jump, cut, and show you yes. Seems like we've gotten to the spot. All the way over here, if we hop past these lily pads. Hop, 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 hop. If you remember, we were stopped by that bug over there, so we couldn't even travel past that way. But, guess he guided us to the right way of the Wad Swamp Lands, but let's see what he has to say next. Halt! Who goes there? This is private property. Proper property. Leave! Whoa, chill out. We were just walking around. I won't say it twice. I'll protect this land. Get out! But, you've got it all wrong. Excuse me, we've come in peace. We're simply exploring the f I warned you. If you won't leave, I'll drive you out. Whatever, you're probably hiding treasure or something. I knew it! Poachers! Way to go, V. Wait, wait we're not poachers. <laughs> and this bug who we... Uh, I forgot that's his name. This bug, Riz. This little damsel fly has no riz on us and neither do we on him oi for once we don't want to fight just stop hitting us Ugh. those bombs can rack up damage fast we'll have to plan around them yes something i did take notes for and do want to mention the bombs he has well we'll sh see it first before we actually get to plan for them but yeah if you spy it tells you about attacks in advance that we don't actually get to see until just a moment and... 
Well, two things just happened. We saw a little dive bomb that is planted into the ground. And there's a new status effect on us. This is known as ink. And because I failed to block it, I suffered. And what ink does is that it makes you unable to use your skills. That's really it. And I can't use it for two turns, but still, that is really devastating for us. But let's try out something of our own status effect with numbing needle pincer. Pincer. Needle pincer. And yeah, you should. You're not numbed. You were numbed, which is why we have an additional attack. So that works out perfectly for us. And now we just have to worry a little bit about leaf. I believe we are able to freeze you. Yes. But yes, Riz, Damselfly. Don't know why Riz is their name. But I think it did not age too well because of what Riz means nowadays. Because cause who came up with that word? Who, who came up with this? Why does Riz mean flirting? It, it, oh, I thought it would explode. The name Divon was very very much a lie to me because I learned it you know what doesn't matter it's okay and oh are we able to do frozen drill okay we're not we just have the option to but yes if one of our teammates are incapacitated we can't use their team move but oh boulder toss well actually no because we don't have really a thing to we they don't have other enemies so it won't really be as effective but Let's see. I think I think Understrike will be a good move here. Break the ice and break through your defenses. Honestly, not too bad of a mini boss right now. Still gonna use my needle pincers because this move is very overpowered if you pair correctly. And as you can see, there there's only a chance for it to can't even block. There's only a chance for it to actually inflict the status effect that it has. Um. Yeah, I'll restore Leaf's health, but Leaf can't do any skills. But oh, I'm curious actually. Even though you're in, no, not incapacitated, unable to use skills. Can I use skills? Oh, you can. Okay. So one thing I did bring up before was Mario and Luigi's like strategy game or turn-based RPG, and why that's important to me is because. The team attacks, where you press A and A for Mario, B for Luigi, and I cannot block correctly. You psych us out with different spear attacks. Thank you. I'm not prepared for this. I wish I was. But mm, honestly, items. We need to use all our items. I hate it when it psychs you out and slash. All right, and the bomb didn't even reach because Leaf died. Well, not died, but I can't revive you yet. But I can needle pincer and then try to raise my TP. A, A. Well, I didn't really numb you, but I did at least did a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, one health regain, and I couldn't replicate it. Now we just have the last two turns. But I don't have any TP items. Um. Alright. Time to survive as long as you can, V. Block. Please just plant a bomb. Oh, God. Alright, I recognize the attack patterns at least. And that attack pattern is... If there is no weight, he'll go directly at you. If there is a weight, he'll make a loop-de-loop. -loop. But let me change a badge over. But yes, Mario and Luigi, where you press A for Mario, B for Luigi, their bro attacks, or our equivalent of team attacks, uh, requires each other to press A and B at separate times. And it's in a succession while more so timing. And I feel like this iteration of it is much better since, of course, we have three team members. We can't really apply one button to another because, well, we have to switch between them. We have the strategic option to switch between them. And worth it for enfeeble and power don't need. And so the button successions that we are provided, I think fits a lot better. 
it also makes it more valuable to use on the controller rather than just two buttons. It also feels like there's more of a dynamic because they're all equal, so they don't require their own separate buttons. I'm still just choosing what to do. Super block on V. Mm, no, I'll do it for Kaboot. I'd even get to. I really have no idea what badge I should be putting on. You know what? Status relay. Tardigrade shield. But yeah, I like this dynamic of buttons a lot more. Also, it feels like you are the team rather than just Mario or Luigi or either one of the members. You are the entire team. You're in control, you know? Even though there is actually no appointed leader of Team Snake Mouth. But, um... Sorry, just thinking about the fight. Wait, you can play it and then attack again? Why is that fair? Mushroom salad? Very, very worth it. However, there is no appointed team leader. But to me personally, because we start off with V and Kabu, but Kabu was the one that I failed my own suggestions. Oof. But because Kabu was the first one to actually suggest the team, or to make a team, I always have self-appointed Kabu as a team leader. Not because of like his power or his attacking, just for his role. Because as you can see, he tries to keep the most level head out of everyone on the team. While V is more of a hothead, V bleh, V is more of a hothead, and Leaf is a follower because, or not a follower, but he is an integral support, more so for the team rather than an opposing member. Like, he takes action, but more so under the command of others, and he's the one with the most team attacks. But now, just figuring out what I want to do. Needle pincer, because I have two charges. But I do like the dynamic of this team. I think it fits together very well. And... I think it is a good idea to have you numb, but what can I do? Defense or attack? I mean, one of, one of them will just be used up right now, but do I even have stats really? I do. I guess one of the only good times for me to use this. Oh, I could have just been status relaying this to other members. Oh, whatever. We ice... Wait, no. We froze him and then numbed him. And I think an appropriate thing to do is reduce his attack. Because, wow, he's really kicking my ass. And we already have two team members that can negate defense with their basic attacks. So... Another thing I feel like I can mention, and he's gonna dash into us. Oh, he charged it up. Another thing I want to mention is the weapons in this game. There are many different types of swords and lances, somewhat, if I can describe them as so. But we've seen Maki's sword, which is looking like a giant, more so, staff because it has no sharp edges, but it's very blunt. And there's also Astosceles, the. I need to stop speaking because I just. Ooh, good luck. And that is a spicy bomb, because you can tell the bomb inside of it before it goes off and detonates. And does it track position? It does track position, that's good. Put you in the front. Let's see, I would rather use an item right now, Jade Stu, please help me. But yeah, we've seen a Sosceles Needle, which acts more like a lance. And who else have we seen? Hmm... Drills don't really count for wash drillers, they're more so two-piece items, but somehow mechanically function really well despite how they're meant to spin and drill, but... Oh... Uh, good block. Okay, nice. Now we're just gonna have Leaf in the back and use an item for... Uh, 
I will fail to do what I want to do. That was a horrible move. I didn't mean to do that. All right, another bomb is placed and I hate this fight. This is so much harder than I remember. I'll just skip past to where I have a chance of beating him around like 20 health. Okay, I have a chance. I said that too early because I hate this game, and this game hates me. I have a chance to win if I play my cards right. I need to heal, and if you were able to see, I put on badges onto Kabu where I heal every other turn because of my poison status, but I also have less defense from it. And I'm gonna let the bomb hit the dead body, because that is a real strategy that you could use. 
and I'm gonna optimize just using Kaboo's attack and trying to stay alive for as long as I can. And it doesn't matter which one he attacks, as long as I can fucking block. That's what matters. And if I have if I have items, yeah. Also, if I actually would prefer it if he attacked Kaboo more, because with increased charge up, we can. We can submit that charges to Kaboo. And Yes, we can provide those charges to Kaboo. So Kaboo has more attack damage. But for here, I'll just have Kaboo attack twice. So hopefully five damage. And I think I just need one more turn to beat him. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. And then this one more whack attack. This is perfectly fine. Because I can survive this. Oh my goodness, this battle took me like five tries and earlier I mentioned, wow, my ass gets kicked so many times by bosses, including mini bosses. I hate this fight. Oh my god, no, the village. Listen, we truly meant you no harm, but you kicked our ass plenty of times. You better be fucking sorry, V. Then, you're not poachers? Nope. M my my bad it seems it's been tense with so many wasps about fuck you do we look like wasp it's only my family and i here we don't see many others i assume the worst my bad it's all right forgive us for the smacking don't forgive don't forgive what do you want then uh we really just wanted to look around maybe help a bit for a price definitely nothing evil well, okay. I'll let my family know of your arrival. Please don't disturb us, though. Oh. My god. That fight. Hurt. And so. I think I'm gonna leave it off there. That took way too much time. And was harder than the actual beast itself. If anything in this game upsets me the most, it's chapter 5, or just just green, this green area, and the, the purple area that surrounds it. But next time, we will see the family inside that Riz was protecting, and we'll go look for that little butler that we needed to do for that one quest. But for now, I'll see you all next time.